Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's been a while since I did one of these HTC videos, and I can say it has been a while. But as you've seen that the screen went down, there's a new system update. I get the jelly bean. And yep, this is my HTC One. So if anything, I'm going to be showing you my process of update. So let me go ahead and start downloading this. And while it's downloading, I'm going to show you downloading. I love it. This is going to be like the most interesting thing. It is now, what, October 3rd? It came out yesterday. Um, but I guess my phone has the automatic check for updates. But when I found out the, the HTC One was rolling out updates for the One and Samsung for the S4, I thought might as well just go ahead and check myself. Being that I did, this is what I get. The new system update for the jellies. So, I've been anticipating this update because it has like a fresh new look. It, you know, I guess it's more secure. Not as much as KitKat, but hopefully uh, HTC didn't remove some of the... The features onto the phone as they do with previous updates. I don't know if you've seen the HTC, uh, the HTC Evo 4G LTE videos, but definitely I uh, put up some about what I think and what I didn't like. So as I'm about to be done with my download, 85 percent, and my phone is still charging, as you can see. Uh, I wasn't, you know, going to do the update until my battery was fully charged. I didn't want the freaking ROM to get flashed and then have it think that the battery is, like, full and it's not. So, I'm just going to go ahead and do the update. So as my download is complete, I'll go ahead and click on it. It says it's downloading successful, verifying the package. I'm promoting FIFA, even though I'm supposed to be doing the updates. What did it say? Okay. All right, so now I get this cool little thing. Uh, let me see if I can actually lower down the brightness. It is too bright. My eyes hurt. If you was actually able to see what I see, dude, you would like flip out. All right, guys and girls, I don't know. Damn, the brightness is still too high. Well, at least for me, I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but fudge. Alright, so it says, Software update verified 574 megabytes in, like, what? Less than a minute and 30? And, uh... Yeah, that's how long it took it for it to download. All right, so wait. The update contains the Android 4.3 update, the Sense 5 enhancements, and what it doesn't say here, which Sprint actually um, clarifies on their forums, because I even try to go to HTC and uh, read the updates, and it basically says the same thing. And yeah, it, it's kind of weird. It just doesn't say more, but from what I get, it does fix more than that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and install this now as I kept on reading it. And it does say the same, kind of the same thing, just not like that. All right. So my phone is updating. Turn blanks. All right. Let's see what it's doing now. Damn, what is this? Is it me or is it it's too bright? Your phone is too bright. Alright, let's 
let's see if I can actually face this. And then, as you can see, it's installing. Man, this is a lot. See, the updates for this is a lot quicker. On my Evo, I would have to wait at least two minutes before the bar can reach that state. Or at least a minute. Yeah, something like that. No, it normally takes like 10 minutes for it to update. So let's say what's going on. So I guess I'm going to be giving you the full video updates on this. So do bear with me. Oh joyous day. The 4.3 update. Oh. Man, it's like Apple fanatics getting the iOS 7. <laughs> it's like the same thing. You get that joyous feeling. It's like, oh, it's like nothing in your pants. Oh, oh. Yeah, you got to give out that moan. I think I jinxed it. I think it heard me say that the Evo is much slower. And then it said, yeah, really? I think I might take long too. And funny thing is that I'm recording on the HTC Evo 4G LTE. So if anything, if it does go bright and you know it's the camera, I should be doing a video on this uh, Evo 4G LTE pretty soon. Um, definitely gonna be checking for updates. I haven't done that in a long while I haven't like decided to check updates uh, another note on my HTC one it is prone to scratches um, kind of like had a bad experience with uh, the Sprint store and also I'm kind of skeptical on this screen this uh, Gorilla Glass I've seen videos on how people take knives or in whatever they could find sandpaper and try to scratch the glass surface. And for me, all it took was a lighter, which is pretty much weird on how that happened. But hey, it happened. I guess it's the diamond. I guess the stone itself is made out of diamond. The little particles of diamonds not sure what it is made out of because i think that the only thing that can actually scratch glass that thick the way it did is like if it had a diamond but i don't know uh it's just me i don't know but i do have two tiny small little scratches due to that i asked since i'm under warranty by uh HTC that one year warranty they said that they don't repair cosmetics cosmetic damages under that warranty which is kind of weird I thought that one year lousy guarantee guarantees that they would replace whatever parts and pieces that come to make your phone free of charge for one year because you are selling your soul to a company for two years just to keep this phone for a really, really cheap price. But that's not the case here. The case is that Sprint messed up the back part while I messed up the front part and I want HTC to fix it. But they said, no, we don't do damages like that. But then again, I got to make another video on this HTC One and compare if anybody who owns the Sprint version of the HTC One, if y'all are experiencing excessive battery heat that causes the Sprint Zone to start acting crazy, or is it my phone in general? And no, I didn't drop it. No, I mean, uh, probably when I bought it, the the sales reps and all this stuff was bending it backwards and forwards 
trying to get a case that they put on it off. Maybe that could have been it, but as far as I know, I'm weirded out as to whether or not, you know, is it me or is it the phone? Or is it an experience everybody's having? So, the 10 minute mark goes, and I'm about to end my update installation. So, let's see what happens. I may get interrupted pretty soon, as I am expecting a lot of people to come by. So, I hope this finishes up pretty quick. Even though I know it won't. I'm going to put the phone on my lap. This is weirding out. Funny thing is that that phone doesn't look like the HTC One. It looks like a... I don't know what it looks like. Okay. Is done installing and they restarted. And there it goes again. And here it comes again. I guess it's installing the video drivers or something because those that screen flicker it only comes to go about when you're installing video drivers. Like the uh, the ATI video cards and says your screen may flicker during this part of the installation. I mean, like, oh damn, what the fuck is going on my my computers? Think I need to call a technician. I have this joyous look on my face. Because at this moment, I am updating to the new version. Ah! My leg is vibrating. Feel good. So 13 minutes. And my phone just restarted. And got the HTC logo. If I get the Sprint logo, then it's all good. If I get the Android logo, that means it's still installing. Still installing. Now, there we go again. Vibrate. Oh, yeah. Felt good. So, 1333. We got that new Sprint nice little logo. And my phone is already 4.3 ready. Ah, look at that. HCC1. Quietly brilliant. Seems like every single product is naming themselves after the uh, after one, you know, Xbox One. But there's a there's a little funny catch to that. Now the PS4 is about to come out. Freaking Microsoft decided, nah, we got this. We have won the console wars. That's why we're gonna name our unit the Xbox One. But if you put it together, it sounds like it Xbox really won. <laughs> Get it? Ah. Alright, so now we're going into the process of updating the Android apps. Just trying to make it 4.3 ready so that way there's not that many glitches and bugs. 
And once it's done, I get to see my nice front screen and my application list. Now, there are some people that might be afraid, hmm, will this erase my pictures, my text messages? I sent a couple of nudie pics or received a, a, a bunch of them. W will it do that? Well, I can't guarantee because I know that this version of the HTC phone doesn't come with a memory card. Everything is internal. And I'm not sure whether there is a dedicated memory source aside for that or is it all embedded in one. So I cannot guarantee as this new big flash update doesn't really assure me whether or not, you know, it's going on. Okay. I had no service there for a while. Now I connected to the Sprint Network. It says New York, 77 degrees. My screen looks the same. My phone is still charging. That's good. It doesn't say that it's green. It's saying that it's fully loaded. But let me open it up. Oh. Congratulations. Your phone has been successfully screwed to version 3.4.651.2.0. I don't know what the fuck comes after point. All right, so let's see. It's updating the content. I have this new little N. I don't know what that is. Um, I think there was like a little purple light that just came on. Yeah, right. You guys see that or is that what is that? The sensor? Is that the sensor that came on? Is it watching me? What is that? You guys watching that? I can't really see it, but the camera sees it. Is my camera on? I don't know. This is like weird. Am, am I having privacy issues? Or is it from the naked eye that I can't see it, but my camera sees it? And the funny thing is that this little light right here was never on. So it's weirding me out, man. That was never on before this update. What's going on? And what the heck is this little N over here? What is that? I know there's content refresh. You know, see? Look. Yeah, there's... What is that? That's my charging light. I know that. But what the heck is that? No, really. I'm freaked out, man. Is my camera on? Oh no, that's a sensor light. What? I think the new enhancements for the Sense 5 is weird because this light, I don't see it, but it's... Yeah, I truly don't see it, but the camera sees it, and it's on, and it's freaking me out. I don't know what the fudge it is. It says Google Maps and Google Wallet is an excessive for updates. I can see that a whole bunch of stuff, just like, what? Why is my face on there? That's like extended privacy issues. What the f fudge, dude? This update is really weirding me out, man. The back of my phone is getting real hot. As it's charging, I don't know why. Whoa, no way I freaking missed this. Not important, but cool to know. As you can see, my application list play games, play magazine that's new. Key VPN that's also new. 
Huh. So I get cool new stuff. Let's go to my settings. You can see everything is there. Oh, that's still the same. Oh, I'm getting a phone call, but I don't want that. Accessibility sounds beat at. Activate this device. System updates. Uh, so yeah, I'm definitely there. Um, less than I don't know what many minutes. Alright, so that's it. Hope you enjoy. See you guys later.